Day eight has been quite uh, interesting. The morning started off very gloomy and overcast, um, turned into fog very quickly. My first stop was at uh, uh, a National Park Service site called Fort Union. And by the time I got there, it was 37 degrees and a light misty rain. Um, yeah, my planned hour turned into 20 minutes because it was just too cold to be out there. Um, I, I got to uh, see it in person. I toured a little bit and then everything else was outside and it was just too miserable to do that. So um, uh, left there, crossed into Montana and about the time, uh, five minutes after I crossed the state line, it started raining and 45 minutes later it started snowing and snowing heavy i hit the interstate i-94 and stopped to uh, get coffee and lunch and by the time i got out to my car it was already starting to stick on the car i was amused because the guy in the store said well at least it's not sticking um, I relied heavily on the car's safety equipment to get me onto the interstate safely because visibility stunk. Um, it snowed for about 40 minutes and then cleared up. Um, and then I got to enjoy the interstate with the Montana speed limit of 80 miles an hour. So that was nice. I stopped at a place called Pompey's Tower. Uh, which is a, a rock formation next to the Yellowstone River uh, that uh, uh, Lewis and Clark camped by on their way back to St. Louis. And uh, William Clark uh, carved his initials into the rock. So uh, I did not climb up to the top. Uh, that was a bit too many stairs for me and my hip, but uh, I did wander down along the river before it started snowing again. So between the, the mixture of uh, rain and snow, I decided to head on into Billings. Uh, I'm in Billings, Montana tonight. You can see I'm kind of in a cool hotel room here with a very Western theme. So tonight uh, I'm here in Billings. In the morning I get up and my first stop will be the um, uh, Custer's Last Stand Battlefield, the Battle of the Little Bighorn. And from there, on the Devil's Tower and uh, the Black Hills of South Dakota. So I've gone as far west as I'm going to be going, and I'll be turning back east now.